Whether securing ports and harbors during conflicts or aiding humanitarian relief efforts, U.S. Navy worldwide operations often require visiting areas where the threat of swimmer or diver placed explosives is very real. In response, the United States Central Command issued a Joint Urgent Operational Need Request to counter Waterborne Improvised Explosive Devices, or WBIEDs. The Chief of Naval Operations Expeditionary Warfare Division, OPNAV, N957, working with the Joint Improvised Explosive Device Defeat Organization, JAIDO, sponsored three initiatives at Space and Naval Warfare Systems Center Pacific, each dealing with a specific portion of this waterborne threat detection, assessment, and response, with response including localization, identification, and neutralization. The first of the three initiatives is mobile queuing with in-volume and bottom search to detect suspicious contacts in the water column at extended ranges, whether they were a swimmer or diver before they reach a security perimeter. The second is swimmer threat identification, which security personnel can use to make positive identification of the swimmer or diver attempting to enter a security perimeter. And the third is a sensor-based stabilized ROV for WBIED identification and neutralization. Building on the JAIDO STID effort, which developed a USV and ROV combination that could identify and track swimmer or diver targets in the water column, PMS EOD funded SSC Pacific to add a mine neutralization capability to the system. Government development of this system was greatly accelerated by virtue of software and hardware transitioned from CMRE, a NATO facility in Italy. In its original configuration, the ROV was equipped with a camera and a dual-frequency blue-view sonar providing both vertical and horizontal views of a contact. The new capability of Submerged Threat Identification Neutralization, STID-N, was created by adding a COTS video ray gripper to the bottom of the ROV. With this gripper and with the help of video ray, a deployment system was developed, which allows the ROV to deliver a payload to a target. The ROV carries a negatively buoyant payload to the target location and jettisons a flotation package at the same time as the neutralization payload. This maintains the neutral buoyancy of the system in all phases of the mission. With this new capability, the STID end system can rapidly and autonomously transit to a search area in Mode 1, where the ROV is out of the water. Upon arriving at the search area, STID end transitions to Mode 2 by autonomously lowering its arm holding the ROV. This places the sonar in the water and autonomous searching can begin. If an item of interest is found, the ROV can be undocked from the arm for a closer inspection, which is Mode 3. In Mode 3, while the operator manually drives the ROV with a joystick, the USV system autonomously maintains the desired distance from the ROV and performs tether management, which allows the operator to concentrate on driving the ROV towards the item of interest. This automation allows for reduction of manning and workload. If the operator decides the item needs to be marked, the ROV's payload can be deployed. If necessary or desired, all the autonomous maneuvers can be interrupted by the operator at any time.